it's just it's a shambles it's an absolute shambles but what a time to be alive i'm all right oh, you're gonna know my know my name This is getting real now, big time. Dollars acquired. Rough list of what I need to pack made. The majority of my work done. I'm nowhere near done with my work. Texas, here we fucking come. Consistency. How the hell does this work? You what? Oh, am I supposed to open it the other way? Is that why? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that this was some sort of like clip that I needed to undo. <laughs> oh god. Here I am, approaching uh, adult life, travelling around the world on my own. Um, I'm going to be on multiple flights alone um, on this trip. Um, obviously, I'm going to be with the NFM UK people when I first fly. Uh, I'm going to be with Sai on my way back. Um, but in between, anything else in between, any kind of travel in between, it's all me. It's all um, alone. And I've never done that before, so exciting times, you know. Mental. I don't know where to start with this. I really don't. So we're starting off in Texas, where it's going to be warm, right? Not necessarily like boiling hot, but it's going to be quite muggy, quite stuffy. I'm quite a hot person. It's not very warm in the UK right now, and I'm just wandering around the flat in a t-shirt and joggers. Because I've got joggers on, I'm quite warm. You know, I don't tend to need the heating on that much. I'm quite a warm person, as, as, as weird as that sounds. So I don't know what clothes to take. On the basis that after Texas will come Vegas where it's gonna be cold or at least that's what the forecast says three four five six degrees something along those lines cold right UK weather so as cold as it is here bearing in mind what I've just said I'm okay here not too cold not too chilly not too shabby but do I need a coat for Vegas? Do I need to fill up my suitcase with a coat because it might be a bit chillier than here? Or do I go on the basis that I'm going to be in Houston for long, in, in, in Texas for longer, and so I don't need any of that stuff? And I can just put up with being a bit chilly in, in, in Vegas. My suitcase is big, don't get me wrong, but a coat would take up a substantial amount of space in it. Let me know in the comments what you would do if you were me. What's up guys, Liam here. Welcome back to LSJ TV for Consistency, episode five. Wednesday is the day that you are seeing this video. Wednesday is the day that I'm traveling down to London and Thursday is the day that we fly to America. So even though you may have just done me a favor and commented what you, what you would do if you were me, because that's just what I asked and you're lovely people watching this video, it's too late. I've, I've already left. And there's no going back now. We'll come back to the packing in just a second. I am actually transferring some files to Suki, who is the guy who heads up NFM UK, who are the people that are actually flying me to Texas in the first place. If I wasn't being flown, I would not be going. None of this Alpha Land stuff, none of this Vegas stuff. I'm being flown to both places, right? It's mental. But it does mean that I have a lot to pack in one suitcase for multiple different climates. And as I've already said, I haven't got a clue what, what, what I'm doing. At, at all, really. The only thing that I know that I will need with 100% certainty is my camera stuff. So I can't forget any of my tripod, I can't forget my batteries, uh, memory cards, I still need to pick up a new one. 
um, basically that is capable of filming tip top stuff for the stuff that I need to do when I'm in Vegas. I need to pick up a new car for that. Other than that, I'm just kind of packing willy-nilly clothes and I'm pretty sure there's a swimming pool, but I don't own any swimming trunks. So I don't <laughs> it's it's just it's a shambles. It's an absolute shambles. But what a time to be alive. I'm alright. Hello. I called you for a very specific reason, something to ask about my packing. But it was a good ten minutes ago and I can't remember why. Oh. Really important yeah, I've, I've started filming my vlog since I'm vlogging right now. Would you like to say hello? Oh, hi folks. Yeah, hi. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. We were just discussing what you would do if you were going to different climates. Um, if you're going to Texas, which is going to be warm, and Vegas, which is going to be cold, would you pack a coat or would you not? No. No? No. That was a definitive answer. No. Is it your final answer? Well, yeah, because, I mean, you're always hot and sweaty anyway, so... <laughs> That's actually hilarious. That's literally what I just said. <laughs> you're, like an you're like an electric blanket. That's well so. funny. <laughs> That's really made me laugh, because literally two minutes ago on camera, I was like, I'm a sweaty guy. <laughs> exactly, so you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I think so too, because my coat's massive. And the suitcase is big, but, like, yeah, I don't really need a coat, do I, so... <laughs> okay, that's that's really made me laugh. I'm not I'm not worried about it. I think I'll be able to get one regardless, even if they don't have one tomorrow. I know that I'll be able to get one somewhere. There'll probably even be one at the friggin' airport sort of thing, but like yeah. because it's a specialist piece of like it's a pro grade card. You can't you can't just go to Curry's and get one or go to Argos and, and, and get one. You can get one on Amazon, but I just can't get one friggin' delivered in time. And I've left it too late like a dead. But anyway. You probably won't get one airport it depends because they have camera stores don't they they sell cameras at the airport so if they sell an a74 at the airport they'll have a memory card that will go in an a74 if that makes sense what is it no Jesus. Okay. I'll get, jump on some shit then, shall I? So, uh, anyway, yeah, uh, yeah you have to try and watch it. You'll have to watch it on the airplane or something. I'll be bloody working on the airplane, Dad. In a bit then. Okay. Bye now. Bye. Bye. Old man keep me company while I'm packing for a bit. So, apparently, I haven't watched it yet, but Max Tuning's latest podcast. Uh, Don't be sour podcast is um, with Christian. I knew it was with Christian. However, I did not realise the contents of said podcast. So I think I might even put it on as background noise tonight. I've got some more work that I can just kind of crack on with. Do I take this? Is this even going to fit me? I'm going to try it on. Okay. Just looking for t-shirts really. That it's a bit smaller than when I last tried it on. I think it's been washed a couple of times and I'm a bit fatter. Not a good combo. I think I'll take this uh, this t-shirt. Whether I'll wear it or not, I don't know. I've also got a Texas prepared haircut. I'm gonna book it uh, for early in the morning so that I have no, no choice but to be uh, up and about uh, doing something with my day. Um, I would be anyway, uh, but I've just got so much to do in such a short kind of space of time. Um, and so getting up just that little bit earlier specifically for an appointment that I can't miss. Um, this is my pre-Texas fade, you know? This is the longest my hair has been in ages. Um, because I'm gonna plan my day like that, I've basically got no excuse but to, you know, be there, basically. So um, I can then go straight onto town, buy this memory card that I need to buy, um, and come back and do a bit more climb work, because 
that's just how the day is going to go, unfortunately. Do I take any protein with me? I'll see how much space I've got in my suitcase. Remember these that I bought not that long ago, the cargoes? I'm going to take these because when I am in Vegas, I'm going to have... There's, there, we're going for a fancy meal post competition when everyone's finished the competition We're going for a nice like dinner drinks type thing um, So I'm gonna assume I need something nice to wear then um, I'm gonna coat without the coat, um, but I'm gonna take minimal Nice clothes and if I need to buy more I will I might need a nice pair of shoes or something because I don't own any um, but I'm hoping I don't to, to be honest um, because all costs money, doesn't it? You know. <laughs> then again, free trip to America. So I'm gonna take this Zara jacket as well. How do I separate these? Do I put these clothes that I hope that I'm not gonna need in a separate section? Oh, how the hell do I fold this? Flipping egg. Like that. There we go. Put that at the bottom because I'm gonna need those before I need that. Uh, I need boxes and socks and stuff. Flipping egg. I need to do a wash. Oh wait, I'm actually organised for once, I have it here. I'm just going to pick like some pyjamas and all that kind of stuff off of here. Uh, little things that I can throw on um, in the daytime if it's a little bit chilly in Vegas. Um, something that's like smart so I don't look a state because I'm going to be around, well, potentially quite a few rich people. <laughs> I don't look a state. Um, but yeah, just nothing too, too smart or nothing too casual, you know. I'm going to bung them in there, stick some shoes in. And I think we're about there for clothing, anyway. And then it's the technology stuff, which I can't pack yet, which is annoying. Uh, a couple of the things that I'm actually taking off of here are gym gear, um, because obviously I'm gonna have a few uh, gym sessions, not only at Alpha Land, but I'm also gonna have a few sessions um, with Cy in Vegas. I'm also gonna have a few sessions with the NFM UK lot, so I know there's Destination Dallas that we're definitely going to, because uh, I'm pretty sure where we're staying is only like 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes away from that gym, um, which is mad because Texas is huge, so to be that close to something like that, is, uh, is pretty cool to be honest. I'm gonna bring this as well actually, thinking about it. So yeah, just got a couple of outfits. I've got the matching shorts to this somewhere. Here we go. A couple of, uh, a couple of sets, because I'm loving me a, a gym set lately uh, to go in the bag. And then we're about there for clothes, which is what I just said, but I'm saying it again because I changed my mind, because I'm silly like that. Okay, gym clothes, in you go. There is also a few gym shirts in this little pile here, but um, MP stuff, right there, right there. Oh God, oh God, oh God. So, just a few more bits to go in uh, so that I have some socks to take. I think I'll have enough boxes, um, but I'm gonna do another wash tomorrow anyway. Um, I've got some other stuff that I, I'd quite like to take the joggers that I'm currently wearing, but to be honest, I've worn them the last couple of days, so I, I'm not going to take them. You know, I need to wash them, so um, I'm going to put this on now, another wash on tomorrow morning, and that will be that, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you have enjoyed this little uh, pack with me, I, uh, I want to first off say thank you for, for joining um, in today, because... Yeah, you kind of kept me company for something that I was somewhat dreading doing for some reason. I don't know why I've been really putting it off. Um, just packing for such a... It's quite a big adult responsibility that I've never had to level with you, never had to do myself before. Um, not for such a big thing. Anyway, I've been to, you know, Budapest and took a travel, you know, like hand, what's it called? Like hand luggage sized suitcase. Like I've never taken a big suitcase. I'm going to America for weeks. So I need a good amount of stuff. And not only that, I'm going to America for, for work. Like I can't forget anything, you know? So it is, um, it's the first time that I've really done in my, my old age, <laughs> a proper like grown up kind of thing. And my old man actually said, by, by the time I turned the camera off by that time, but he actually said like, you know, get got your big boy boots on, all this kind of stuff. It was just, it's mental, like, it's crazy that this is what life is, where life is at for me at the minute. It's mental, really, um, in a good way, in a very, very good way. So I'm going to stick a wash on. I've got a bit more work to do tonight as well, so I'm going to focus on that. Upload this video for you guys, and I'll see you all in Texas. That's it. Well, I'll see you all at the airport, and then I'll see... I'll vlog as much as I can. I don't know, I have no clue how this is going to go. The next clip you see may be in Texas. The next clip you see may be in... in, in, in Freaking in the airport, I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. 
drop a comment if you're excited for this series, drop a comment if you're excited for the America travels. It's gonna be a cool time, so stick around, guys, stick around. If you have not already, drop the video a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Together, we will fucking grow. It's time. Fuck. Oh.